smoking. <laughs> hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at some hole saws. This kit right here is by Spider. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video, because we're gonna drill some big holes here today and show you all about this kit. So I love hole saws. I'm gonna show you what I currently use. This is a T-Stack. These are all my hole saws. This thing is surprisingly heavy. Now, I don't carry the around this, this thing around with me all the time. It's, it is very heavy, like, I don't know, 40, 50 pounds, maybe even more. It's, it's kind of ridiculous to have this many hole saws, but I just been collecting them for, for years and they all end up in here. This kit is not nearly as heavy. This is probably like, I don't know, five, 10 pounds or something. You get 14 different hole saws or pieces in here, I should say. And this is a carbide tip kit. So I'm gonna show you what you get in here. This is, well, let's go over the front here. You can drill through wood, plastics, uh, uh, fiber boards, or sorry, cement fiber board, concrete blocks, bricks, and ceramic tile. Today we're gonna be drilling through some particle board and a four by six treated chunk of wood, all right? So in the kit, it's very, very well laid out. So all these bits kind of fit within each other. And I'm gonna show you something that I think is really, really cool. It's an idea I came up with years ago that uh, I was going to sort of invent or just go to a tool company and then, you know, of course it happened like the next day everyone was doing it. So I'm gonna show you what, what they've done and I think it's brilliant. So in this kit, I'm gonna read over what we get here. We've got inch and a half, we've got inch and three eighths, inch and a half, inch and three quarter, two inch, two and a half, two and three quarter, three inch, three and a half, four inch, four and a quarter, and four and a half. They also give us two drill bits and the Arbor adapter. So that's what you get in this kit. I think it's around 200 bucks, Canadian or American. We'll leave some links down below if we can find them. But uh, for the value, you know, even if it's 200 American, that to me is, is very, very cheap for a hole saw kit. I mean, these four inch blades are not cheap by any of the other um, manufacturers out there. So, so far I'm impressed with the cost, the organization of it, and let's, let's drill some holes. So we're gonna start off with, what should we do? We can all drill small holes. Maybe what I'll do is I'll show you how it kind of fits together. So they've got this really good um, puck clearing sort of method on this. So the way it works is you slide the bit on and you press this little button on the arbor and it will connect into this groove on this bit. Now this is a big bit, but I'll show you why it's awesome, okay? So now you pull this back. These are your pins that lock into these holes. So you pull that back, you thread this on just like so. And then the pins will snap right into place and you know they're in place when this plate is flat and flush against the bottom. Now, if you're not familiar with hole saws, the reason why we have these pins is because when we're drilling through wood or any kind of material, there's a lot of torque on these bits. And back in the day, you'd have bits that didn't have these pins and it would just wrench right down onto the threads and you'd never get, get it off. So having these pins, which is pretty standard across the board now, is, uh, is a must when you're you know, drilling with hole saw bits. So now that we're set up like that, the beauty thing about this is that when you get a piece of wood in here after you're drilling, it's very easy to clear. And you do that by pressing the button and pulling this back. Then it will, it'll show your puck. So then you can clear it off. So that's really, really nice. That's one thing I just love about this, this system, okay? 
Now, it all works fine and dandy when I'm showing you like this. Let's see if it actually works when I, when I drill some wood. So what we're going to do is grab this drill here. We did a review on this. This is the DeWalt DCD-997. Okay, this is the uh, brushless motor with the Bluetooth connect on it. Okay, we'll use a five amp hour battery, fully charged. And we're good to go. All right, so let's drill a hole. Obviously this is gonna be pretty easy, but we'll just start off easy, okay? Crazy fast. So now when you're clearing this, make sure you lock your trigger on your drill. You do not wanna be messing around with this when, when your trigger is not engaged. And pull this back, or sorry, push the button and pull this back. Now you can just clear this off. I mean, that is truly amazing. I, I love it, I love it. Now you just slide this forward and it locks back in place and you're ready to go again. The other nice thing is you can drill on an angle with this. Okay, so that's the angle. Lock the trigger, push the button, pull it back. Now I can take that puck out. Super awesome. So here's what I invented that everyone else invented and produced. And it's it's pretty common now, but the ability to, you know, put, let's say you drill a hole like I just did and I screwed up, I wanna drill a bigger hole. So what you do is you take this off Gonna pull it out, my bad guys. All right, pull this off, and then you can thread in. Let's say we wanted to drill a hole with this guy instead. Thread him on. Okay. Now you can use this bit. We thread him on, and you use this as your guide, just like you would use your bit, you use this as the guide. So when we come over here, we'll give it a go. The first hole I drilled, this will fit right into it. And now I can drill a bigger hole. All right, let's give it a go. See, no problem. So now lock the trigger, press the button, we can clear this out. It's a little bit harder when you've got a bit, the wood inside, the bit inside of a bit. So I'm gonna have to take this right off. Clear that out. Do the old method, use the drill bit to clear this little piece. So this is the only time you'd have to do this is when you've got a bit inside of a bit, all right? But that's awesome, right? A lot of guys are doing that, a lot of companies. And it's something I invented years and years and years ago. I wish I had, you know, all you had to do was extend the threads on these, on these um, mounts and then you're good to go. And I just didn't do it. So let's see how this drills through a larger piece of wood, something a little more challenging. Switch our wood here. And we'll go up to a four by six. If you're wondering what clamps these are, these are the Festool clamps. Everyone's always asking me in the comments down below. These are wicked clamps you can use with this table. Now let's go with I don't know. Let's go with this guy. This is a uh, three and a half inch. So it's a pretty hefty size. All 
All right, we're locked in there. Get it on our drill. Lock it in place. And let's drill us a hole. So I'm barely even pushing on this. This is just plowing through this wood. So that's as deep as I can go because of the depth of the bit, but you can just see this is ridiculous how fast I'm chewing through this. Now, if I wanted to go deeper, I'd take a chisel and I'd pluck that out. Let's see if we can do it. I'll just grab a chisel here. Okay, so we'll take that piece out and then we can keep going. We are smoking. <laughs> I don't want to burn out my drill. Normally when I use a bit this size, I use my whole hog back there. to get this. Whew. We got ourselves a little smoky fire. All right, you get the idea. These things are amazing. I'm I'm just super impressed of how fast they'll plow through wood and uh, you know you get the idea it's still smoking there. I'm gonna create a little fire in the shop. But yeah for a hole that size I recommend my whole hog. I'm just not gonna set it up but uh, Overall, I am really, really impressed with the value you get with this kit. Now, obviously it's very, very new. I haven't put it through hours and hours of testing, but you know, they seem really, really strong. The only side or downside I should say as a renovator is this certain kit right here will not go through nails. So that kind of sucks, but I'm sure they've got other hole saws out there that uh, that will do that. I'm going to look into it and, and see what they've got. But for drilling through wood, if you're an electrician or a plumber or whatever, you know, you just need one kit and you can just go through wood, new, no problem at all. Um, I'm, I'm just really impressed. And then the ability to clear the wood out, it's, it's such a time saver. All right, guys, I want to hear some comments down below. What do you think of this kit? Have you used it? Um, do you have any experience with it? Please let me know. Subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.